Okay, how's it going, boys and girls? Another genius of the world. So today I got a new mouse and I, I, I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna talk about it and stuff. I hope you enjoy the video. So the new mouse I recently purchased for a whopping 170 US dollars. This is by far my favorite mouse of 2022. And I think that this company deserves more recognition for their work. The mouse I'm talking about is the Ultra Custom Wireless Sim 2 from Pornet. You can almost fully customize the mouse from different colors to even different colored cables. It has a solid cover and even a honeycomb cover. I personally went for the emerald green metallic cover with the honeycomb feature because if you couldn't tell I actually really love green. To customize the mouse you don't even need tools at all to do it. It's suitable for all different types of grips. The overall experience that I have with this mouse is very good. It was a bit weird at the start because I wasn't used to the shape but honestly you get used to it pretty quickly. The mouse that I have customized comes in with a weight of 71.5 grams. You can even get lighter options but I mostly did this for the looks of the mouse because it's obviously green. However when I used the mouse I noticed that the right click was a lot more stiff than the left click one. But this can also be explained due to the fact that I chose a metallic cover instead of a regular one. The mouse also has a USB-C type cable that can be used as your charging port while you play games. It only takes two hours for this to get fully charged and you can just go back to being wireless again. There's a lot of RGB customization you can do with this mouse if you have the porn and software installed, which is actually very easy to set up and even I with a three paint cells can set this up. And yes, it has a customizable D-Bound style. It goes anywhere between 0ms all the way to 30 ms. ms. what the hell? Who would even do that? Now, if you are wondering if you notice any delay or input lag when the mouse is wireless, you really don't. Even with the cable, you hardly even notice that the cable is even there, which is amazing. The switches on this mouse are the Kale 8.0 switches that are extremely nice to click on in my experience. The switches can be clicked on 80 million times before they just said, nah, bruv, I'm out of here. It's also using a 3370 sensor, which also has a low error rate and an adjustable lot. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Can a butterfly click? Yes. Can it drag click? Yes. Can it suck these nuts? Is this mouse worth to get? In my opinion, if you want to spend a lot of money to just have a mouse for a very long time and not switch, in that case, yes. I do think it's worth it and a really good end game mouse if you're not looking to spend any more money on mice you don't need anymore. But if you are just looking for mice easily to butterfly click on or drag click on, I recommend you do some more research on cheaper options so you can find out that there. there's so many other cheaper options on the market right now. Overall, I think this mouse is great and a really good option for people who's looking to get an end game mouse.